don't mind me. I might have just completely forgotten that um, I didn't have the right music um, capture unmuted. I might have just realized that. That might have been a thing that just happened. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> that might have been a thing that maybe just happened. Possibly. Eventually. But, um, let's not dwell on that. That's the past. And this is now. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope the day was restful and or productive for you. If it wasn't, then that is also completely fine. Uh, I'm just happy that you're here. Um, oh, that's what I forgot to do. I told my community that I was going to tell them that I was going to close, that I was going to close the vote for, um, Fighting Friday. I said I was going to do that before stream started. And then I started getting involved in 3D modeling and completely forgot. So, let me look at the poll results now and see what we have. In retrospect, this turning out exactly like this shouldn't have been that much of a surprise, I guess. Um, alright, so, I will also post it simultaneously, um, yeah, let me just make sure, I don't think I pinged it, but the last time that poll finished, so, let me take a look and just double check, I'm just probably gonna just say it, say it up, nope, I did ping last time. And I just did a ping for the stream starting. So, hey, plate of pie. So, rather than ping twice, I'm gonna just tell y'all what the poll results are now and then redo it again for people that might have missed it on stream um, a little bit later today. So, by the looks of it, it looks like for Fighting Friday in July, in first place, at this point, I feel like I might as well just move any other Guilty Gear game from the listing because, like, nobody interested in plus in watching me play plus r which is fine i'm not upset about that just an observation so guilty gear strive is in first place um second place is skull girls which surprises me i was expecting it to be like herds or something else and then third place is of course dnf duel so what that basically means is this upcoming friday we're gonna start with Basically, the rough order for Fighting Friday in July is probably going to be DNF Duel, probably DNF Duel, Skull Girls, because we just did Tribe last week. The so DNF Duel, Skull Girls, Tribe, DNF Duel, Skull Girls, Tribe, DNF Duel again, because um, the reason why DNF Duel is getting two is because I specifically reserved. July 1st, regardless of the results for for it. So, DNF Duel, Strive, no, sorry, DNF Duel, Skullgirls, then Strive, then DNF Duel again, and then Strive again to finish off the finish off the month. So that's pretty much the plan. In fact, let me write that down to make sure I don't forget that, because knowing me, F, Skullgirls, oh, And it's going to be again. Okay. Yep. So it's official. This is how we're rolling. It'll be DNF this upcoming Friday. Then it'll be Skullgirls, then Guilty Gear Strive, then DNF again, and then Strive again. So, thank y'all for voting. I appreciate it. I will make... Um, I will make... Um, whatchamacallit. I will make those results public um, in the Discord after stream is over because i don't like to ping people like twice in a row 
um, without a couple hours apart. Nope, it's gonna stay right here on my desk. Um, So yeah, no, doesn't need to go on the edge of the monitor because it'll fall off. Right there on the desk is fine because I can look, look, look down and see it. And I'm going to post it in um, Discord afterward. So yeah, that's our lineup for July. Um, if you're in the Discord, you'll get a ping about it in a couple hours once we're done streaming. Uh, I just don't want to do it. Um, I just don't want to do it like too soon immediately afterward. Um, I was wondering why this thing. So, all that said, and all that done, let's get to it then, shall we? Alrighty. second i'm a little off but not too not too much so like if you remember how i sat on friday or yeah, it would have been friday how i was feeling i might have said i was feeling like a little weird it's past mostly now um i don't really know what was causing it beforehand i was just feeling kind of away um i was just feeling a kind of way but i think it's mostly past now um, I think I just needed to rest um, some more and kind of just ease my way in, ease my way back into things. Still doing that now, and I think that with that much time, I'll I'll shake off. I'll kind of shake it off. I feel a little bit. I feel a lot more like myself um, today, so which is good because um, Star Ocean will fuck me up if I if I wasn't or. It would be a problem if I it would be a problem trying to play it if I wasn't really feeling 100 percent Got that. I'm gonna do full boot. I'm just gonna pause this. Okay, good. And we've got audio capture up and running. Excellent. Okay, so for those of you who have um So yeah. Uh, wow, my brain had a hard fart there for a second, didn't it? it keeps doing that for some reason. Um, so yeah, last time, for those of you who may have missed um, our previous episode of Star Ocean 3 Universe Mode. Um, oh, that's what I forgot to put in the darn stream title. Every time, I keep forgetting that, and that's annoying. I also forgot to put on the timer. So, before I forget... Basically, one of the major things from, <laughs> from this thing kind of came up here. Last time on Star Ocean 3, we uh, we we decided that we were going to help put an end to the Aeriglyph Aquarius War.
Sorry, one sec. Just responding to a message. Last time, right. Uh, we were like, let's end the war between um, Aeroglyph and Aquaria. Let's help them build this weapon that they... That, let's help Aquaria build this weapon that they wanted. And... Uh, shenanigans. By which I mean, we got the weapon built. We, be we beat up that Visual K looking motherfucker. And generally had us a pretty good time. Uh, the main downside is that once we actually got around to the part where, you know... We were doing the war stuff. Um, <laughs> it turns out Fate, Fate has superpowers. Um, because his parents illegally experimented on him to make sure that he could in fact get them. And uh, we used that and we wiped out a big Vendini battleship that kind of came in from space and sort of stomped all over this game's equivalent of the Prime Directive. So we're um, we're in some shenanigans, basically, is what I'm getting at. Um, and so, technically speaking, we should be going to the Shrine of Kadan to go deal with some more of those nasty Vendini invaders. But before we do that, we're going to fuck around in the Lost Garden of Surferio because your boy needs some XP for our new party member, Maria Trador, who is basically Cliff's boss. The mysterious boss that Cliff has been saying... Also, hey, Vallejo, what's up? Welcome on in the stream. Um, the mysterious boss that Cliff has been talking about um, bringing us to see. Uh, she came to us. You know, uh, so <laughs> we are um, we're in for a time TM is what I'm saying. But yeah, before we go to um, before we go mess around in the sealed cavern and make our way over to the shrine of Kadan, we're going to mess around in the aquatic garden of Sirferio just to get some levels for Maria. Kind of just make sure that we're all buffed up. So power up for Cliff. And then we're gonna do protection for Cliff because he has basically no defense. I think that's enough for now. Well, it's called Maria. I meant Maria. I meant Maria. And this is the reason why I'm here, also, because um, the XP gains here are pretty good. Not as good as the Sealed Cavern, which is on the way to the actual next plot point, but good enough. And basically speaking, we should be about on level for this part anyway. So that's why we're messing around here first before we actually go to where the rest of the plot is. Just wondering if you know when or if we're in a really big spoiler carry at some point. Um, so, we just passed one of the major events of Disc 1 um, that I was summarizing earlier. Um, I'll try to remember some of the major ones, but um, we, just passed the ma we just passed the big one. Um, probably the next big one I can think of will be... 
sometime after the Shrine of Kadan, because I think there's basically one thing that we need to finish on this planet that's going to happen almost immediately after we're done at the Shrine of Kadan. And it's probably going to be the next two or three streams that we go through. We're not going to... I don't think we'll get through all the Shrine tonight, unless I do another long stream. Um... Yeah, it's going to be hard, because at this point, we are coming close to... I would say that we're almost... If we're not at the halfway point of the game already, we're kind of already there. So some of the stuff that may wind up coming up now tangentially um, is probably going to be spoilers. Um, I'll see if I can keep ahead of some of the things that get like really big, like some of the end of chapter events. But we're fair elbow deep in that territory about now. I should have kept that other damn book for teaching support symbology. I have known that leaving it, leaving it to Nell, of course, wound up exactly like this, and I should have known better. Gears, playing Garni at the same time, so it may not be paying too much attention cutscene-wise there, but appreciate it. Yeah, and if I miss something, I know you're cool, but if I miss something, my apologies in advance. Because I, I I, remember, like, all the high points of this game's plot, but um, there's a lot of plot in this game. I may have to back up out of here, actually, depending on how fucked up everybody is, because, um... Okay. Well, that's the thing that I wasn't sure about, but that it's good to have confirmation of. What I mean by that is, yes, the amount of XP that your characters get is divided between them evenly. So, that's pretty cool, but everybody's dead. So, um... I'd rather not reload the save. I'm just gonna try to do a duck, a, a dip duck and get back around out to, because thankfully, the nice thing about the Aquatic Garden of Surferio is that, um, Aquios is not that far away from it, so we can literally just kind of, like, dip back out into the Irisa fields, go to Aquios, buy some stuff, and then come back. I have a pretty decent chunk of money, though I'm gonna try to not spend a bunch of it, because, um, I'm gonna need it for doing some inventing. Grinding levels only one party member alive is also big. It is. But we do it for the vine. That's also why I made a safe state. 
That's also why I made a safe state way back in that other spot. Game trivia? Uh, ooh, devil damage. Give me one second. I'll see what I can think of. Uh, let's see. Gaming trivia. We'll do an easy one. So, Matoi Sakuraba does the compose, who did the composition for this game, and pretty much most of the other Star Ocean games, is also, um, is also frequently a composer for the Tales series. Um, generally speaking, most Tri-Ace games, not every one of the Tri-Ace games, but a large chunk of them basically usually have his musical, um, his musical contribution in some form or another. So, all of these games, the Valkyrie Profile series and the, um, and the Tales series all generally have his, um, his footprint on them. Stubby's fault, by the way. I'm just, I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm doing fine. Stubby said it earlier and jinxed me. It's his fault. But yeah, he's also very frequently in games that are made by Camelot. So, um, basically speaking, Golden Sun, Star Ocean, Valkyrie Profile, most of the Tales franchise. Yeah, that's all him. Don't you excuse me, sir, me. I said what I said. Granted, I agreed with you when you said this is just asking for a gauge break. I didn't say you were incorrect, but also. But yeah. Um, it is... His style of music is very distinctive. You will usually... You'll know it when you hear it. Um, expect a lot of... Synthesizers, um, synthesizers, piano, and um, other classical instruments sort of tend to be his um, calling cards in that particular sense. And guitars, yeah. In particular, in this game, I'll throw an extra fact on top of it. In this game in particular, there is a particular song that has a very, very short bit of it that is basically just one of the themes from Tales of Symphonia. Um, there's a certain part of the theme when you call, when you call Welch over here on the invention info part. There's a song, um, Any fave soundtrack by him are particularly memorable? There are a lot. Um, I could go on for a very long time about the ones that kind of stand out to me. From this game in particular, the ones that I like from this... I'll keep it for now simple and do like this game in particular. For this game in particular, we have More Complicated, which is the theme of the Aquatic Gardens of Surferio that we were just listening to. We have that. Um, Cutting Edge of Notion, which is the main battle theme. Um... Most of the field themes for this game, um, a theme for a part of the world that I can't say anything about yet because we haven't been there. Um, and then he, there are two recurring tracks that are used. Um, or at least one recurring track that's been used between a couple of different Star Ocean games called Mission to the Empty Space, I believe. That was very good. And where it plays in this game, we're not going to hear it for a while, but it's also extremely good. But yeah, in this game alone, those are the ones that kind of like stand out to me. Um, yeah. Yeah, if I was going to be talking about um, Tales games, I could rattle off a whole bunch and I, we would just be here all day. But yeah, um, the it's very rare that Sakuraba doesn't compose 
for a tail soundtrack it happens sometimes there's some tracks that he does not individually do like with tales of um Why is it doing... Why does it sound like it's doing up left at the same time as I'm going? Let's see if I can fix that. But yeah, um, in particular, um, with Tales of the Abyss, Sakuraba did, um, I would say wild instead of that word plate. Um, when you say that other word that you ended with, it's a little bit kind of ableist. We don't want to do that here. Um, but yeah, he gets, he gets into a lot that. Yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, it's a thing that, yeah, so, yeah, that happens. And every now and again, so, never feel bad, oh, let me rephrase that. It's just like, um, everybody learn, everybody has to unlearn how to use, how to use those, unlearn using those things. So if I bring it up, it's not like a shame thing. It's just a reminder to make sure that you're being careful about it and you're avoiding it. You're avoiding saying it when you don't have to. Those. Hang on a second. I might need to adjust. I might need to adjust my. Um, I might have to adjust my controls again because I'm getting. Yeah, for some reason, whenever I try to go up, I'm getting a little bit of upright. Which means that the when I was setting the e-pad controls before, I was getting a little bit of shenanigans. Give me one second. Let me adjust it just a little bit. I know it looks like the game froze, but... Yeah, sorry, y'all. Because it look, I was looking through it, and I see that where I, I got a couple of duplicate inputs, so I have to kind of clear them out and make sure that they're not on some shenanigans here. Just making sure that this stops that. Okay, yeah, much better. Yeah, I was getting some things where for some reason I was getting an up right. I was getting like an up left or an up right input when I was trying to go up, and that's. Nobody likes that. So yeah, we're gonna advance the plot at some point today. Um, it's just that I want to spend some time going through. I want to make sure that I want to go through the aquatic garden of Serfario just so that Maria can get some levels. Um, Fade is basically good for now. I may wind up putting him in for Nell, um, just to keep him, just keep him going. But we're we're keeping Cliff because. Um, Cliff is basically out here literally keeping the run alive on account of him doing like aerial assault and kind of just like stopping on people all the time. Uh, very good at that. And also, it's just because like the sealed cavern also happens to be kind of rough in terms of like, um, as well as the Shrana Kadan are both going to be very, um, we need to make sure that we 
that whoever we're bringing in to fight is like really and truly like ready for that. Because, um... We're gonna be in for some nasty fights in there. Like, I'm not- I'm gonna- I'm not gonna like front with y'all. Like, those are gonna be some nasty fights that we're in for in the Shrine of Kadan. So I kinda wanna make sure that we are about as ready as we can be, all things considered. Excellent, we got a freeze. Maria does have more interesting things to do aside from just that, but, um... She does have more interesting things to do aside from just kind of, like, pecking at people with shots. But she's not a very fast character, so you need to kind of, like, pick your... You have to pick very carefully about how you choose to go in with her. It's not a thing where it's like, oh yeah, I can kind of just do whatever. She has some skills for close quarters combat, but she works at her best when she can fight from a distance. So let's see what we got. Hey there, how's new product develop? A new product has gone on sale. Okay, Amulet of Freedom is being sold, Purple Orb is being sold, Fairy Potion is being sold, Aqua Potion is being sold. Wow. Well, okay. Hot Wind, Pulse Needle. Oh, right, Photonic Blaster. I'm very happy that we got that. That's the thing that happened last stream, also. I forgot about that. So, this Photonic Blaster that y'all see here... Basically speaking, we had an 11% chance to make this bad boy. And right as we were leaving, um, stream... Last week... Um... We got that. We made it- we made it happen. I was quite- I was quite pleased. And that's going to be like our strongest weapon that we can carry for like a little while until we get a little bit further on in, in the disc. Um, we're going to be in for a good time while we have this, basically. And then once we get... Basically, once we get to a certain point, probably in like another... Two to three streams. Two to three streams, that is. Um... There's a pretty good chance that we'll be, um... Damn, out, you're freezing. Are we selling an assault rifle on a planet with... Technically 17, I think? Carry this, you filthy casual. <laughs> like, nothing personnel, kid. They have now obtained the power of gun. Yeah, pretty much. Basically, that's the only skill that Cliff has on right now. Well, in his short and long range, in his short range slots. Mostly because, um, Aerial Assault is very, very, very strong. So yeah, he's gonna be saying that a lot. A lot, a lot. Um... Did anyone else hear Maria's voice lines clip together to make I Hate Needles? 
Sometimes what you just do is... Alright! Oh, hey! Puzzles! Everybody loves puzzles. That's gonna be a good time. Um, I forgot to open up my guides. So give me one second while I do that. I was like, I'm so I made a stream. I'm so excited. Me immediately proceeds to not open up any of the fucking got Any of the fucking strategy guides that he needs for actually playing this game. You know, as one does, because that's what one does. Can't be worse than Owl Cat's puzzles. You say this, and yet... Let me see here. The Aquatic Gardens of Surferio is on page 131. So maybe I do like 137? Here we go. I remember I often needed a guide for Wild Arms to work out the Yo! Using strategy guides, there is... And I know... I'm just saying this as a general thing because I know that there are people not here. Because there are people here in this stream that would shame you for using a strategy guide. I'd throw them out by their ankles. But in the wider world out there, there are people who are like... Oh yeah, using guides for games is like so... Weak. Like, why would you do that? Ew. Like... Video games are hard sometimes. Sometimes video games lie to you. Basically, I try to use it only when I'm stuck or- yeah, and that works. That's pretty chill. So, the whole trick about the Aquatic Gardens of Surferio, when you step on these green switches, you bring up these blocks, and when you stand in front of a block and press a button, um, the block will travel along a particular path. Won't budge from this side, right? So the idea is that you want to, um, you have to approach the block from the correct side, and then examine it, and that will cause it to get pushed. You can only push blocks in a specific direction. Also, hey base, welcome on in. So, white, red. Which, this white block we're pushing, on the left side, white. Block puzzles. Push this one, white, red. And it brings us over here. So basically though, the hard and fast rule is that if you want to actually access, like, some of the other... Yeah, the lines on the ground more or less give away where the blocks move. You just kind of need to be able to sort of see what's what. So here, I definitely need to do red and white. 
I'm not sure if there's a way to approach these two up here to get this get this one over here. There probably is, and I may just have to think about it a little bit harder. But let me see if the if the guy gives away anything in particular that may help with that. I'll block off that. You to open that up. Yeah, okay, I think I might know the way through to the other. The other path doesn't seem to have any treasure chests though, actually. So I may just kind of, at least according to the guide. So I'm gonna go back through here, and the next time we see a different block puzzle, I will have to do some finagling to get the treasure for that one. Actually, I want 100% completion for this map, or at least as close to it as I'm gonna get. So let me go see what's over on this other side, because I'm curious. So we're gonna do these two. This is very much around the same level as Alcat's bullshit. Hmm. I'm gonna do these two, and I think I can... Let's do one of these. Hold on. Uh, I, do, I do red and white here. Push yellow. That should let me in. Okay, so if I push this yellow one, it should let me into this spot over here. And I should be able... Over here and push this one. Alright, cool. Save state real quick. I just wanted to see what was over here. As always, it's not it's not a Star Ocean stream unless Nell gets knocked out. We all know this. This is a surprise to nobody. Where's my fresh sage? I forgot to buy more fresh sage. Fuck me. Party members work in, in this work a bit like they do in Tales during combat. You don't have as much granular control over the things that they do, unfortunately. The AI for their behavior is generally much worse in this game. They generally do their own, they will generally do their own thing, but unlike the Tales games where you can where they've kind of like gradually really helped hone down like and help really sort of like streamline what degree you can control them to. Um, this game, they do their own thing, and they're generally really bad at it. Um, there are ways to slightly alleviate it, but generally speaking, the AI in this game, um, they, uh, nah. You kind of have to let them do their own thing, and they usually do it badly. I'm gonna have to save up for a couple levels for Cliff, but if I do it correctly, he should be able. Yeah, like it's l like the aerial assault part is literally just because I put um, I put that in both of um, I put that in both of Cliff's um, skill slots. So that's basically the only thing that he does. On top of the fact that I turned on. Um, I turned on a skill for him called Fury, which reduces his HP. 
Sorry, it reduces his defense, but increases his attack and cuts down the amount of fury that he has to spend on using moves. Um, as well as the fact that I gave him... What was it I gave him? Yeah, this Metacentra Pyroxene. Basically speaking, he only has to spend half the amount of HP he normally does on using skills. Um, and his overall fury use when he's using skills is reduced by like... Um, It's basically reduced by about, uh, 30%, give or take. Alright. More Symbols of Courage are always good. So the main purpose of the Symbol of Courage is to increase the fill rate of the, um, the bonus battle gauge there over on the side. I just happen to keep equipping them because they also give pretty decent, um, they give pretty decent stat bonuses. Yeah, like the fact that, so yeah, Cliff uses Aerial Assault a lot, but the main thing and the main reason why I have that is because um, something that is particular to this game that makes it both interesting and kind of challenging is that um, if any combatant in a battle runs out of HP or MP, so it doesn't matter if you're a player or the enemy, if you run out of HP or MP, you park it, basically. So, there are certain enemies by which it makes more sense to literally just drain their MP pool, rather than, like, beat them to death and drain their HP instead. And Aerial Assault happens to be very good at doing both HP damage and MP damage. So, for Cliff in particular, um, next to Hammer of Might, which does the same thing and hits even wider of an area, but is... Fire element, which causes to miss against some people. Aerial Assault is elementless. So Aerial Assault has no element, does MP damage, and also just does a ton of damage. Okay. Getting hit with panic is not good. Alright. Uh, this is kind of bad. Alright. This basically means that uh. Nell, if you don't heal yourself- Nell, why are you fighting? Nell! I'm about to say, Nell, you better heal yourself. i like, I'm not gonna heal you. Nell is literally sitting out here like, I'm not gonna heal myself. It's like, okay, then perish. I already have too many blackberries. Speaking of which... So yeah, the whole MP killing thing that I was talking about, y'all saw it, it just happened to Cliff. Basically, Cliff's main drawback is that he's always going to have shit for MP, no matter what you do. Um, no matter how much you raise it, Cliff's MP is always going to be fucking terrible. And there's not really a lot that you can do about that. But yeah, as you can see, like, Cliff is doing, like, a whole 236 MP damage and stuff like that. When he's hitting with that. Does MP reject? It does not. So basically what does happen is that some of... Some of the, um... 
some of the HP and MP that you spend on using battle skills. Some of it does get refund. A little bit of it gets refunded to you at the end of fights, but not that much. So basically, the way that you compensate for that is that you use cooked food outside. You use cooked food outside of battle to restore HP and MP because you can't use um, cooked items during fights. And then during fights, you you eat your things like your blackberries or your blueberries or other kinds of battle restoratives for fights, basically. Didn't some Tales games have... Uh, in Tales games, cooking in general is also in Tales, but it works a little bit differently. Um, it works a little bit differently in... Um, It works a little bit differently in um, Tales games, generally speaking. Box puzzle number. The thing is that I don't know what items are where. Oh, that's gonna be a pain. Bully then Symphony and Vesper. Yeah, like I could explain. Explaining the cooking systems in those games is a little deep. Which is the only reason why I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but basically. The short, the short summary is that um, basically cooking in um, Tales games is generally meant to be a um, cooking in Tales games is generally meant to be a um, a thing that you use to help over the long term when you're playing. While you're investigating dungeons and stuff, but um, oh, they have a retry option right here with select. I didn't even notice. Where, whereas cooking in this game is more of like a you just make stuff that you can use a little bit later whenever you need it. Synthesis materials, very good. In this game, generally cooking is more like a is a very short term kind of thing. It's the simplest way to put it. Whereas in most Tales games, not that you don't use cooking ever, but that the benefits from cooking generally tend to be more short term. In the in terms of like, oh yeah, you really only get to reap the benefits of that um, when you're you have to usually make use of very specific facilities in order to like do a lot of cooking in Star Ocean games, whereas in Tales games, cooking in the field is a very normal and very common thing that happens. Fifty materials. Very good. Let's see if I... I might have blocked my way out of there, but I think those are all the treasure chests that are in this part of it. I remember right. So we're gonna step over here. Right over here. Get here.
Спасибо. I was not expecting that damage aura to reach all the way over here. That was unfortunate. Harpy up here. Yep. Ah, I get bent. Yeah, like as you can see, those little green and blue numbers that come up at the end of the fight, that the, um, that's, that's the refund I was talking about. Okay, cool. I see. That's an interesting connection. I could have actually been able to come up this way much earlier. Interesting. Yeah, I get like a little bit back, and part of it is just because I have, um, I also have a bo I also have a battle gauge bonus that very deliberately is meant to kind of like help boost that post battle recovery by just a little. So it's one of those things where you have to be very careful about how frequently you use battle skills because if you're very careless about it, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be in trouble basically. So that's annoying. I think it's supposed to be... Okay. So of course they don't. And of course, the book doesn't have a solution for you approach the puzzle from this way, so I gotta see if I can figure it out myself now. Unless you can't, then they're gonna make me walk all the way back around, which will actually, which will actually make me very upset. I feel like that would also, even for this game, be a little bit of a dick move, so I don't think... Even for this game, that would be kind of a dick move to make you go all the way back around, so I don't think that's a thing. Don't budge from the side. 
bunch from this side, which probably means that a bunch from this side. Even for this game, it would be a dick move to make me go all the way back around. I'll do it if I have to, but I feel like... I feel like they... I want to say I feel like they wouldn't, but I also... Don't to the underestimate try ace, I guess, is the best way to put it. But from this side... That's the main. You know what? I could keep fucking around, but I think I'll just, like, literally just go. I'll just literally cut back around. Not have to sit here and fuss with that this whole time. That'll just make me more upset. I need to be careful and make sure I don't die, because if I die, the gauge is also going to break, and, uh, nobody wants that. Food. Meanwhile, Cliff is literally not even level 30 yet, and this man almost has 10 gauge feet. Beefy. Hey, Pangolin. gotta redo these. Not that big of a deal. So... One... Lost, lost. Hopefully, hopefully your, um, hopefully your Sunday has been either restful and or productive, whichever was, um, best for you. And if it was neither, then I'm, then it's okay and I'm happy that you're, I'm happy that you're hanging here today. Oh yeah, it's, you're supposed to go up this way, that's what. That's why. I remember now. Go up this way. Harpy instead. Does your um not really. 
you get a little bit you get a little bit of a um a little bit of it restores if you spent some on like battle skills and stuff but no for the most part no we get a little bit back but not that much of it so we have to be very deliberate about when and how we heal Alright, let me do this. Let me actually do this puzzle correctly and not worry about stepping over to other parts now. We're gonna do... Gonna do red. Yep, we're down here. The white one over here. Then we're gonna do... push this red block back over, and we should be good to go. And we want to exit out of this corner. This is the way I was going, and then I got distracted by potential shinies on the other path. And then, as it turns out, that's, that's a one-way road. However, the reason why the other path is a one-way road is more than likely... Well, that was useful. I actually mean that sincerely, because I'm literally out of red sage. Or out of fresh sage, rather. So, um, yeah. The good thing about... Uh, the reason why that road is a one-way is probably because when you're on your way out, it lets you cut directly back. Um, it allows you to cut through without having to go around and do a bunch of other stuff. Because of where the junction is, it's a little bit faster than trying to, um... The reason why I fight from a distance with Maria is not because she can't fight in close range. Like, she's not bad at it, and I have battle skills that are meant for close range, but, um... Being able to kind of just, like, poke enemies with shots, especially, like, strong ones, to force, like, guard breaks and stuff, is, um... extremely useful. Uh... Oh, that's bad for Cliff. So... Getting pent... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! 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 What just happened there is kind of rare, sort of. I say kind of and sort of only in the sense that I am normally not so lucky as to have it proc that many times in a row. Um, if you have a full Fury Gauge, it is possible, it's a bit rare, it's possible, if a bit rare, for you to survive on what's called Fury, if you have a full Fury Meter at the bottom. Um, I don't know the actual mathematical chances of it or how it's calculated, but basically if you have a full meter of fury and you take a hit that would kill you, there is a chance, albeit a very slim one, that you will not die when that happens. But it is not reliable enough for you to make like a full strategy out of that, and I don't recommend trying. Um, it is not reliable in any particular sense of the word, and if you try to like bank on surviving on fury, in a tight spot, you will probably just wind up dying. And I don't, I don't recommend trying to make it like an actual strategy in terms of like making sure that you um, 
that you're gonna make it through a fight. Don't do that. You are dead. No big surprise. Yeah, more or less. If you're not careful about it. Did I say hello to you, base? Did I forget my manners? I hope not. I think I said hello, but if I didn't, hi. Okay, I did cool. And I got first aid. And I got first aid out of that. So let me see skill setup here. So first aid. The way that it works is that if I take damage, there's a chance that I will cover 20% of my max HP. I have that on Nell because um, she has a very bad habit of just getting hit and then getting her shit pushed in. Nobody likes that, basically. stage left. So basically speaking, at this point, if somebody dies, I have no functional way of reviving them. And I'm literally out of fresh stage because I forgot to buy some when I was um, when I was in Aquios. So, um, haha. By haha, I mean, I mean, we're in danger. But, you know. And out. Enjoy the rest of your session. Alright. Thanks for stopping by, Play to Pie. Appreciate it. Have a good rest of your time, Zone. literally just dropping in from the sky like hey so I heard you like damage items speaking of food I'd probably get a snack I'm just doing a little bit of a rumble just a little nope 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 little bastards and then here all right so good news is that we can walk around in this spot with the put with the blocks deactivated please so pull out the map but now we have to step this in order to be able to get... Yeah. 
the, there's a chest over in the northwest corner. Okay. So I, I'm just gonna fuck around and go see... Ah. And it's a big green one, which usually means that there's something good in there. So I'm gonna start off by pushing this. I'm gonna push this white block. Push this red one. Push this blue one. I'm gonna push this red one. And there's another red one right here. I think. That Block number, ah, ah, god damn it. It says push block number, it says push block I, which is a yellow one, but I don't know where that is. That, damn it. Crazy games, you facetious motherfuckers, did you betray me? Block that it says to push that they didn't label on the diagram. So now I, I. Yep. Oh, this one. I mean, I didn't do much of anything. If I push this one down here, I'm just gonna get blocked off. again. There's I. Bastards, which one of these is I? Why didn't you label it? They didn't label I, J, or K. Fucking Brady G Oh my god. Fucking Brady Games. They're like, hey, here are these last three. 
labeled H, I, and J, and they didn't label them on the fucking diagram. <laughs> ah! All right, it's fine. We're we're gonna fucking MacGyver our way through this shit one way or another. Budge from that. Oh, budge from the side. Budge from the side. Budge from that side. Budge from that side. Budge from that side. Budge from that side. Hair. A hair clip, a string of twine, and a roll of duct tape. Functionally speaking, that's more or less what it feels like I'm gonna have to do. Good news, at least, is that it's relatively easy to start over. I know I blocked that. I know I blocked that one off, but kind of don't care. I probably should be hard stuck right now. Yeah, if the if the if the way if the way is not shut. I'm allowed to push blocks back to where to where they were before. If I didn't, if I don't block off the path, I can push them back to where they were. So it's go, it's gonna probably the right solution is going to involve some form of that. Like the correct solution is probably gonna involve some amount of that. So I'm not like. It's just that the main thing is that the, you have to be able to push whatever it is back in order to um, push the block back where it is before. So if you moved something and you blocked off halfway before, then it doesn't work. I'm kind of just fucking around to see if I can get that other treasure chest somehow, so, um... I'm not, like, actively trying to seriously solve the puzzle right now. The nice thing is that you can, so yeah, like I said, you can actually walk here and sort of see the path. Like for this one, you don't have to, you don't have to do it manually, but there are, is there a treasure chest over there? Oh. The only reason why green, the only reason why the green box show up is where there are treasure chests, so.
here. Anointed chainmail, except I think that's a step up. We take that. Cool. I bet. other this block moves down that way. main problem is that yeah like I know I just worked myself into a corner but it's fine um yeah like this particular um map when Play to Pie was here earlier was asking what are your favorite Matoi Sakuraba tracks this one is one of my favorites this place is kind of a pain in the ass but, like, this track is one of my favorite songs in this game. Red to white. problem so like I have a and I could go look up another guide and go look at what that one has to say but let's see no other yellow that I think I should be able to push not really not that, that would be not that, that would be help not that, that would be helpful Yeah, hold on. Give me one second. I'm gonna check one thing real quick and see if this pop is anything. Knowing my luck, this other guy that I went to go look up is not going to talk about how to do any of this shit in here. Nope. Gives right over it. Does it?
Cool. Hold on. Literally from the reverse side. That doesn't help. Oh, that's why they said turn it. That's why they said turn it around because then it's relative to. All right, hold on. I'm gonna hide my um, window. I'm gonna hide it real quick and focus on this solution that they're trying to give me and see if I can get this to work. So I'm gonna not be reading chat for a second, so just give me one sec. Uh, Oh, that's why. Okay, so you do this one, and then do this one. I'm gonna go back over to the start point, it says, right? Look at the large gap that goes left to right just above it. Mm -hmm. As far as you can to the right. Ah. This one? I messed up and accidentally reset it. I was trying to turn the camera, but I think I remember vaguely what I'm supposed to do. So this, 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 that. Hang on. 
Ah, fucked it up. I'm gonna do step on this. This. So it looks like the solution that I missed was um, basically by pushing those blocks down at the bottom. It's supposed to. Um, Block, pushing the blocks at the bottom um, lets us do some other bullshit, basically, later on. And I didn't realize that I would have to push those there, go back up, and then go from there. Um, and that's the part that I messed up. Alright, focus facing back on. Give me one second, y'all. Sorry. I know this part is like a little bit let, like not super great, but XP is needed. The Steel Cavern and this next part really will fuck us up. So I want to get as much XP in as I can where we can get it. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, so. This one. This one. That's what it is. This one. Okay. So that means we have to come all the way up here and back around to here. Or no, like all the way up here, back around to here. Okay. H is like this one up here. H. I might be. I forgot I can actually save states. I is supposed to be another yellow one. If I look carefully, it should be able to. Ah, and then this one stops that. Perfect. And then K should be yellow. Baller. So that's why that's why we had to push this one all the way over. So it would stop that white block there and keep it from going over. Alright, excellent. Alright. That makes a lot of sense actually. Right, let's focus face off. At least until we have to go back there and go back through there and get whatever is in that upper right chest, because I want that shit real bad. Hydration, not dehydration? One sec. Because we're probably about to... I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit... I started a little late, but we're, we're pretty near due for a two-hour break anyway. Got all them double kicks. So yeah, hopefully if we're trying to get the treasure on the way back, it will be a lot easier. But I think there's only though then again there might be only one spot to activate the, the puzzle anyway, which means that whether I like it or not. Yep. Alright. We all know what a big save point means in a dungeon. We all know what that means. So 
since Pangolin redeemed the hydration, not the hydration, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do our usual saves right here. I'm gonna go over to the AFK screen and go get water and something to snack on and just stretch a little bit because we're a little, we're like 10 minutes off from when I do two minute, when I would do the two hour break anyway. So we're gonna do all that. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna go beat this boss. So get up, stretch, do whatever you need. I'm gonna go get filled up with the water and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. that penguin. Alright. Let me also make sure that actually good. 
I'm pleased I'm stupid guy, okay, but it's messed up. Unfortunately, I don't have any cooking items that are good for, um... I don't have any cooking items that are good for recovering MP. Unfortunately. So I have to kind of make do. Let me see if I can put on my clip fitted voice. Looks like this is the farthest we can go. There it does. So, that must be the leap of this. Yep. What a pretentious jerk. Look out! Cliff, why did you have to start talking shit? I thought this song only played in one other spot in the game. Or only in one particular spot in the game, but it looks like I was wrong. Safe safe is here. That's why I made a safe state. And that's why I made two safe states, honestly. Um, so basically what I'm seeing here is that Cliff is going to be about as useful as a wet fart. Because he gets hit by... He gets hit by Crush and then dies immediately. Because he doesn't have the HP to... Didn't have the MP to survive that. Cool. Alright. We can fix that. Not the MP part, but we can fix issue of... Wow. He's, he doesn't have shit for shit. The only thing is that we're not going to be able to do any MP damage, really, because Cliff is the person who's most, most responsible for that. But... Let's see. Uh, tactics. Place. Put fade in instead, and see what we can get, and see how we, and see if we can handle it that way. Bad cookie said, "Yeah, split your safe. You always split your safe states." One right before you go into the battlefield, and then one right at the start of the battle. Fuck. Excuse me? Uh, I disagree with that. Fuck up. I moved out of the way of that. How did I still get hit by that? Excuse me? What the actual fuck? Yeah, like I'm physically not standing near that. How did I get hit by that? What the fuck? I don't know how the fuck I did that, but I fixed it. This doesn't look too good. I'm... Like, y'all see that I'm, like, literally standing not under that, and I still got hit by it. What the fuck? Uh... 
Like, someone's gonna have to explain that to me. Like, I'm literally, I'm literally standing not near that. Literally, I move from where the symbology is and I still get hit by that shit. It's the pit. The fuck? Like, I'm literally, I'm, I literally have to stop a minute go, like, the fuck are you talking about? Gotta shoot. Oh, hold on. I think I have a plan. This doesn't look too good. There we go. That's basically what it is. That's what it is. I figured it out. So basically, I have to make sure that I aim at the boss at the very start and literally just shoot it in the face so it doesn't hit me with that. And then I basically have to keep the boss distracted. Because if I do that, either Cliff will manage to live long enough to actually like run around and beat the fuck out of these nerds, or um, I'll figure something else out. Oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. I forgot to make a save state at the start of the fight, didn't I? I did. I did. On the other hand, it looks like... Lived at that time, somehow.
L. I literally just healed. I'm crying. <sighs> Hold on. I'm really just in hell. I basically have to keep Nell alive this whole time now. I have the MP to just let her die. Also helpful, I guess. We really might just have to try it again at some other point, team. Because this man's strong. That annoys me. Yeah. We'll come back and take it out of this hide. But not now. We're not. We're not ready. I don't like having to like give it up, but I was thinking I'm gauging it against the time that we have left. And the stuff that I wanted to make sure that we actually get done today, like game wise, like now nah, I can't I can't force that. No matter how much I may want to, I can't and I shouldn't. So we'll leave that. I would just both do it. I didn't run out of fresh sage, so As annoyed as I am, it's my own fault for not checking that I properly stuffed up. I don't think I've ever tried universe difficulty. I know it could be that guy in Galaxy. Yeah, it's because with universe, um, that boost basically I want to make it a lot harder. Also, welcome on in, Damien MC90. Good to have you. Yeah, basically it's just that the fact that, um, stats are boosted is what make that harder. So, I'm just gonna have to hold that. Kind of pisses me off, but. Can't be helped. I want this treasure though. The main thing is that if I can ah hmm. Hmm. ah oh depends yeah if I push that back then I'm gonna get stuck. 
gotta make a little bit of space to make sure I can, like, have some room to navigate out beforehand. Oh. Space to make sure that I can navigate out. That's gonna be the truth. Push this over here. Push blue and then red. Yeah, for this part up here, definitely. Right? I push blue and then red. The main thing is that I need to have some form. I need to leave myself some way of like being able to push yellow back again. In order to actually get up there and get it. Which may not be possible because I have no other I have no other intersects that can really go back that way. I can't push this one back. Because there's no way to get it from that end where the other white block is. Yeah, don't worry about it. Let me just fuck around and let me just fuck around and do it. I know this is wrong. But I'm gonna do it. I know this is wrong because I just blocked myself off from the other side now. Yeah, like that's yeah, that's that's the cat corner I was worried about. Because basically speaking, unless I yeah, I have no other way of navigating back. And even if I did it from the other side, even if I had a way of doing it from the other side, it wouldn't quite work out. Unless. Okay, I see. This blue has to block this yellow. Real question is how did I get that? Yeah, I had a, I had a brain fart because I literally, yeah. If I get that blue to block that yellow, then I'm fine. And I literally forgot how I got that set up in the first place. Damn it! Damn it, brain. Yeah, I just, I just reset it.
Then I would have walled myself. I walled myself off. Yeah, but okay. Use the white. Ah, so many dependencies. So, so many dependencies. Ah, the patient's right. Fuck it. We're going home. We'll go fuck around in the teal cavern and then come back here later. It. Yeah, probably. But I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Because I could probably figure it out if I really put my brain to it, but we 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 got plot to get to. So I put some thought into it, I'm over it. Good job, guys. Everybody's dead. Stand by healing any good on your damage too high. Probably leveled. It might be okay. This is my first time trying to make any actual extensive use of it, so I have no idea, really. I pressed the wrong button. Fine. Okay, now I have to straight up dodge fights for a while because I have no more fresh sage and I can't run from fights or my gauge will break. So we're gonna be ba we're basically gonna be playing the game worst the world's worst game of tag. Are y'all ready? Galaxy since 200 healing tick, but if damage is not that word, you want to say wild instead. Using that word in that manner is kind of ableist. Don't do that here, please. If damage is wild, I can see it not being relevant anymore. And either, yeah, I also, at least for Maria, for whoever I'm controlling, anyway, I don't want to even risk getting hit in the first place because if I get hit and I get hit with a crit, then I break my bonus battle gauge. So, for characters I'm using, standby healing makes more sense because, um, I don't want to get hit. I didn't even know aiming device could cause panic. 
That's useful, I guess. For giving values to Rao. Yeah, Maria's movement speed is not super great, but given that Scatter Beam basically says, fuck you, this is my territory, we can work with that. You're not not gonna get me. It'll get a little bit easier once we're out of the aquatic gardens, just because um, it's get a little easier once I'm out of the aquatic gardens because I'll have more room to maneuver around. I love how easy. Yeah, it's very easy for her. Like the solo, the solo leveling thing is hilarious because it means that if I can control the character correctly, um, we get experience out the wazoo. But that requires not dying, and I'm a little clumsy, so that's easier said than done. We'll come back to that in a couple streams, once I'm a little stronger. Let's move on with the plot instead. This time I do need to actually remember to go buy some fucking fresh sage, so that I don't totally beep it in the sealed cavern, let alone the Shrine of Kadan. That was very, very bad. Okay. Over here first. Armor. Better get us some fresh sage. Direction elixir. Huh. Applets. Oh, these are the things that must have just gone to market. Huh. I'm gonna have to see if I can do resurrection elixir myself. Either that or resurrection mist. my binding on L2 also because it looks like it's jittering way more than it should be. Give me one second.
where I'm trying to jump left and right between. It's slowed on me. Slowed on me. Come on. There we go. I'm still getting some jitter, but I'll fix it later. Alright. So we stocked up on that. Let's go rest at the end, and then we're gonna go get... We're gonna get the plot. We're gonna keep the plot going. Just getting some water because reasons. To get to the Shrine of Kadan, we have to go to the Sealed Cavern. And to get to the Sealed Cavern, basically enter Castle Aquaria right here and go down these conveniently placed stairs right here. You need to make sure that you talk to this lady though before you go down. And the reason why is because she will give you something called Disintegration Hammers. Which you will need in order to get through um, most of the rest of what's going on here. You kind of have to have it. Chapter... We're on like chapter 3 maybe, I think? The so one... Page 73, okay. Sealed Cavern hasn't been in use for a very long time, which means that there's some things that we're going to have to activate and turn on before we can actually get anywhere. Oh, nope. And we may need to use disintegration hammers along the way to make sure that we can do that. That passageway is blocked off, so we're going to have to go back around to here, I think. No breakable walls, so we're just going to go through here. Nothing, you can't really go anywhere that way, so we're just going to go up through here. Save state here in case we get into a fight with this nasty motherfucker. Yep. Switch. You want to hit this switch? Hit 
the reason why we want to hit that switch is because it has now unlocked, or rather, it's, um, if we look carefully now, you can see that these blocks that are here are actually moving. So, here's the trick. If you do get caught under one of those, you will get Sonic squashed. So you have to pay attention to when they're going up and run under them when they're going up. If you don't do that, you're not going to have a good time. But the reason why we needed them to move is so that we could do this, basically. Because now that they're moving up and down, we can use them as a platform to come across this whole thing. The main trick, though, is that because it's a little hard to tell the height, Basically, it's a little hard to tell the height, so basically you have to keep walking forward across them and hope that you can, like, kind of get them at the right, get them at the right height. Because otherwise, um, if you wait too long, you'll get mixed up and you'll have to wait a little bit longer. This is why we picked up a bunch of fresh sage. Because who's going to be dying a bunch? Nell's going to be dying a bunch. should be up shortly. Just leave it to me. But it was not that easy, and you know what? I forgot to buy more food in town. Well, F. Well, We don't get hit by that block. Oh, there! Oh, right. There's two of them, and I would have got, and I would have gotten hit by the Okie Doke. Okay, this one's a little annoying because there's a there should be another block right in front. Yep. yep. All right. So basically, this is the way this works. I think. Wait for that one. That one. Step under, wait a little bit. Bop, and then you step forward. Because now I should be able to get under without getting hit by that one. Yep, there we go. Oh! 
Nell. Every time Nell says this kind of stuff, and then I... Every time she says it, it won't budge. It's really stuck tight. Every time Nell starts talking that good shit, I wind up paying for it later, and I hate it. Just nerd. Clutch. All right, let's see. Again. Ran into a wizard, but it's fine. Oh, ambushed. Okay. Why, this is why it makes safe states. Like, I'd have preferred a more worthy opponent to shut up. So, we use the disintegration hammer over here, and we step back so that we can bust open this wall. We step in here, and we flip this switch. There's some blocks moving out there, so we can't go through that way anymore. Probably their way of making sure that you don't, like, step out and, like... Talisman. Don't know what that does, but we're gonna find out in a second, I guess. Cool. That was a one-way door. Let's see your items. New items. Lunar Talisman. 10% max HP increase. That's pretty cool. Not sure who will get it yet, but I'll think of somebody that it that it'll go to. Um there is a save. There's. There's a save point in this room, so everybody knows what that means. So even though I'm not using hard saves for anything in particular, um, it's always good to have a hard save as a backup just in case shenanigans happen. Let's get this out. 
Now we should be able to just kind of like hang up on this nerd basically. Magnetic field disappearing. Alright. So magnetic field is um Magnetic field is is really short range, but it's very quick to come out. So we'll just we'll have we'll alternate between those two. Stay, stay here. Must be the entrance to the Shrine of Kadan. So, yeah, like they did warn us, there's gonna be like a shit ton of guardians and stuff causing shenanigans. So, good thing for us, such as it is. Here we go. So this is the mini boss, and while at first you may be inclined to go, oh god, oh god, we're screwed. If you weren't if you weren't ready this is where that trick i was telling y'all about where i was like hey so if you make an enemy run out of mp they die just like you do this is the part where we use that to our advantage even if there are stat changes in universe and 4d mode the flying knight should still have mp in still have less mp than it does um yep easy Right? Still has much less MP than it does HP. So, if you just use aiming device a bunch of times, or if you don't have that, aerial assault, shadow wave, any other moves that kind of like, um, do MP damage, all work. And now, here we are. My, one of my least favorite dungeons in this entire game. Um, the Shrine of Kadan. I hate this place so much. I I cannot describe to y'all how much I hate this place. I hate this place so much. Words... Words cannot describe how much I hate this place. So... There are a couple of like little shenanigans here that the game does not tell you about. That you will have to be on your guard for. Um, so we're going to be safe stating often. And doing our best to uh, not die. You do, for example, you see this pile of crystal here in the middle of the walkway? You may go, do I really have to examine that? Yes, you do. These motherfuckers, that thing's alive. Crystal Knights make this dungeon miserable. They are extremely fast. Oh, 
Yeah. Luckily, they have shit for MP. They have shit for MP, so you can kill them relatively quickly like that. But they are incredibly fast um, and have a very decent chance of critting because of how much, how many times their moves hit. Um, it is what we call a not ideal situation. I forgot I can literally just use Adrian with my gilding bot. Yeah, basically, like, fighting against these things is not impossible. It's just one of those things where you have to, and you do have to fight, um, all the ones that you see that are like little crystal piles like that, because they have an item that's essential for you to get through. Are you hurt? Lady, no. Forgive me. I couldn't stop them from entering the shrine. It would appear so, but don't fear. We'll protect the ticket orb, no matter what. Thank you. They'll pay for this. Now, let's hurry. Right. Better brace yourselves. Only members of the royal family or messengers of the gods have been allowed in here until now. I've also heard that countless traps have been set to prevent looting. Yes. Sure, make things easier if those traps would take care of them for us. Don't get your hopes up. They'll most likely be carrying powerful scanners. Probably right. In any case, let's hurry. He's dead. May he rest in peace. Yeah. The Shrine of Kadan. And you'll see, there's a, bit, there's a very specific reason why I'm like, oh god, I hate this place. But, um... We haven't encountered it quite yet, but trust me, we will. Oh, we will. Yes, fate, it's alive. Basically, you just MP kill those things. That's basically the way that you deal with them. Um, you you just have to be ready to MP kill them. Because if you try to like get into like prolonged, I will slug it out with you fight, they'll fuck you up. And it's... You, you're just not going to have a good time. You're not. McNugget Field! Hey, Anaki. Welcome on in. Good to see you. All right, chain of 250. Oh wait, it paralyzes? Excuse me? Hello? I know it does that. That's wild. That's so cool. I love Maria Trador. Maria is such a good character. What the fuck? I didn't know that could cause paralysis, potentially. We should not go up there. Yeah, it does. Very low chance, though. Alright, so don't- so don't gamble on it. Fair enough. Oh yeah! Does Cliff finally have enough for me to max out his fucking HP stat? Please! Yes! Welcome to the 10... Welcome to the 11k club, baby! Cliff Fitter! Look at this man! Look at this absolute fucking unit! Witness this shit! This man has... 11k HP. Not a single solitary fuck given. Yeah, he needs it.
I'll put Fate back into the party at some point. But for right now, we're Gucci. Do not go through this door up here. Yeah. If you just come into the Shrine of Kadan, please do not go. Don't just go run straight up into that joint. Because I promise you, you will have a bad time if you're trying to keep a bonus battle chain. There's some other stuff that you need to handle first. Before you go up that way. If you don't care about your bonus battle chain, then it doesn't really matter. But if you do, don't go that way. Not immediately. There it is. Okay, so... In the Trina Kadan, when you're your first time through it, there's some specific spots where you go that will trigger earthquakes like that. You have to trigger those earthquakes in order to cause the structural weaknesses in parts of the shrine. And by creating those structural weaknesses, you can use the disintegration hammers that you get. Um, for example, like here, you'll be able to use the you'll be able to use the hammers in order to open up spots where you didn't have pathways before. Shabby textbook, which should give us another anti-attack aura, compounding elixirs, heavy armor. Cooking ingredients, which I already have maxed out. I need to do some cook. I need to do some cooking invention at some point, actually. And black cookies. So, uh, what did we just get? Bait and Cliff already have it, so that's no good. Shabby textbook. So, the two. So, the two-way anti-attack aura. If I remember correctly. So basically, the reason why, again, you never want to sell those textbooks unless you're feeling like real brave. Because every time you get one of those textbooks, you get um, a new form of anti-attack aura to use, right? So, the standard anti-attack aura will only go in one direction, um, but it will always stun. Two-way will split into two parts. Um, will split into two parts, but will not always stun. So it trade it has like yeah, it has like a it has a slightly wider area of effect in exchange for not having guaranteed stun. Me personally, I prefer if I'm going to use a if I'm going to use um an aura for anything that involves stunning, I prefer st I prefer standard. Materials here. Morrison. Which is good. We're gonna need those later. There should be a second either a second spot for me to trigger another earthquake or one other pathway that should be open now that wasn't before. Um I do technically also have the damage anti-attack aura to utilize if I want to, but um I don't quite remember what affects the damage that it does. Ah, here we go. Hammer Charm. Book of Prophecies 1. We want this. We're gonna need this later. Usually if I anti-attack R, it's for one target. Or for the one that shoots out a lot of purple damage ones. Yeah. That tracks. Okay, there should be one more pathway that we should be able to access somehow or another. Oh, hey, it's the Bendini. Well, gotta make sure Nell doesn't die again. Let's go. 
Homing is really nice if you're setting up launchers. I forget if that ignores no guard. It would be helpful if it did, but knowing knowing Triace and knowing this game, probably not, because that would that would make your life too easy. That, that either of those are open yet. What's the other I know there's supposed to be another earthquake point. Oh, or I could just literally just bust a hole open right here. I'm like, I was like, I know there's another earthquake point at some other point in here. Perfect. That's the third same stone that we need. All right. So the reason why all this matters, a workshop. I wonder if I could use the same stones I found to make something. But yeah, fate randomly gets the idea to take these. I made quite a powerful charm here. He just randomly gets the idea to be like, yo, so, but what if I, what if I, he's like, so yo, but what if I did this? <coughs> so, the nice thing about the Shrine of Kadan is that you, I, I am able to use the workshop facilities here in order to make stuff. The main drawback is that I can't bring in any NPC inventors. It has to be only stuff that the party members can make. Let me see here. We're going to do the IC calculator and I'm going to see if I can come up with any food that might be like actually useful. Cooking. Adre's not bad at it. Cliff is terrible at it. Nell is pretty good. Sophia's our is pretty good, but Maria's better than Fate. So, it can be Adre, Maria, and Nell. I could, in fact, make Jumbo Pot Stickers. Twenty-nine percent chance, but we're over the difficulty by a fair amount. So I do want to make some food just to kind of like make our lives a little. Now nah, let me not fuck around. Actually, I was gonna fuck around and be cute, but let's not do that. Sometimes you have ideas that you think are great, and then sometimes you go, actually, on second thought, maybe that's not the thing I should be doing right now. I really do need to cook some thing. I do need to invent to do some cooking for items that will restore much more MP though. Cause oh boy. Alchemy. Maria's a decent hand at it. Fate is not super great at it. Neither it's Cliff and neither is Nell is okay. Between Fate and Cliff as we fate, I guess. Or is it compounding? It's probably compounding. Fate, Maria. Yeah, Adri is kind of shitty, and I don't have the other person that would be really good at it. I could make resurrection elixirs pretty easily, or even resurrection mists, but I might wind up getting witch tablets instead. Hmm. Dre is bad. Yeah. Yeah. Um the fact that they give that they that they make you take this musty motherfucker along when literally Claire Lasbard is right fucking there. I'm I literally will almost never forgive Triace for that shit. Like why would you do that to us? We literally could have had 
Claire Lasbard, who's much cooler, much less useless, much less annoying, is like, nah, he can have Adre instead. Like, who, who do you think wanted this man? He's a cool concept, but borderline unplayable. Cool, I accidentally broke my bonus battle cage, so now we gotta do this over again. He's a cool concept, but border yeah, I, I don't even bother playing as him. I just, I don't bother, because I'm like, for what reason? Why would I want to? No. And of course, as always, Nell was dead. Like, Nell's here! Blop! Nell's dead! I'm just gonna put in Fate instead, actually. I'm not even in, I'm not, I'm not even in the mood to try to, like... Whatever, it's Fate's turn now. Any who's gonna step out? Wanna step quick hello? Give a quick hello, go inside. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Anaki. Appreciate it as always. I'll catch you later. Have a good time, Joe. So, one of the other most important things is that you need to have... So if, you don't, if you don't make the Saints Amulet, this is, like, critically important. I'm gonna say this to y'all. It's very important that you know this. If you do not have the Saints Amulet and you go through this door that I'm about to go through... Your only option is to run away and go make it. You have to have the Saint's Amulet for the next part of this fight. The next part of this dungeon. If you do not have it, you will have to go back and go get it and do that. This next fight is going to be real fucking messy. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna front. We're not gonna have us a good time here. We are not gonna have a good time. It's not gonna be fun. We are going to basically be Okay. And I know it sounds like I'm probably exaggerating a little bit, but we are more than likely gonna be fighting for our lives. Um, once we get up in there, we're not gonna have a good time. We're not. This this next boss fight is just booty butt cheeks. That's the only way I have. That's the only. That's the only way I can describe it. But it's just ass. We're not gonna have a good time. We, we are not. This is going to not be fun. I am not going to enjoy it. It's going to hurt. And um. I suck shit, but we gotta do it. So let's do it. What's this? So this fight's exactly the same as the enemies we fought so far, but is much stronger. Basically, it has shit for MP, much like the regular versions of these things, but it's much faster. It's 
Well, it's much stronger. Its speed is about the same as the things that we've already been fighting. That's why I'm literally just kind of like standing over here and sniping it with like aiming device. will freeze you if it hits you, by the way. So don't get... Don't, so if you get hit by that and you get frozen, you're in for a bad time. Okay, never mind. We we literally just put that man in the corner. Anorian, Anorian's just good luck. It's because of Anorian. Let's just leave it at that. It's because of you. You did this, Josh. You're the one... You, you, you got us. Thanks. Your raid... Your raid kept the good luck going. Hey everybody, I'm an Orient stream. Uh, my name is Sean, you can call me either that or SJ. I make games, I play games, games make do basically, and we are playing some Star Ocean till the end of time on Universe difficulty, which is hard mode basically. Um, enemy stats are up, and um, they hit harder, and it's possible to miss, and things become shenanigans. So let me just shout, shout them out. Yeah. So... If you don't, if you follow me and you don't already follow an Orient, you should fix that. Uh, he plays a variety of games, mostly um, RPGs and some other stuff. Currently, he is, as you can see, doing a first playthrough of Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. Um, so if you if you go to watch his streams of that and you know what's going on, don't do spoilers, or I'm gonna grab you and hammer toss you out the window. Behave. Um, but aside from that, in August he is also in addition to that, he's also one of my mods, and so I feel comfortable in saying that in August, he's going to be doing a, um, he's going to be doing a tabletop RPG, um, actual play of a, of a Final Fantasy Tactics, um, campaign that he's been working on. And you should go watch that. Because, guess what? He's also really good, he's also really good at voice acting, and just DTRPG stuff in general. Now, hey, Kevbot. Hey, Sophia. I did see that we got a follow. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. We keep them anonymous so that people can lurk if they want. Uh, but welcome on into the Gage Gang. We are happy to have you. So yeah. This is only the first part of this two or three stage dungeon. Which I am tempted to see if we can finish tonight. So that we don't have to come back and do this shit next stream. Because, holy fuck do I hate the Shrine of Kadan. I hate the Shrine of Kadan so fucking much. Y'all don't know how much I hate this place. I hate this place so much. Uh, I thought I was falling already. Lol, Lamau. Uh, why do I hate it so much? Hey, Claire. Okay, so the Shrine of Kadan. Reasons why I hate the Shrine of Kadan. When I was younger, the first one was that boss that we just fought. Because that motherfucker beat the fuck out of me when I was a kid. But that's not the worst part. We are not at, we're not yet at the worst part. You'll understand why, Sophia, when we get there. I, I could explain it, but it would give it away. And I need you all to experience this pain with me, so you understand why I hate this place so fucking much. Well, I guess the other part of it is just that this place is fucking gigantic. It just is. This place is huge. So this place is huge, but the, the reason why I actually hate it, we haven't even gotten to it yet. I'm a one-man wrecking crew. EDUR, Cliff, and EDUR. 
right? But yeah, as always, as always, Josh, thanks for bringing everybody over. I appreciate it. Um, we're probably going to go a little bit longer than my normal time. One, because again, I'm feeling pretty good. Two, because um, I have tomorrow off because I don't work on Mondays. But three, and most importantly, is that we are not splitting the Shrine of Kadan over two streams. We're not doing it. We're not. I frankly refuse. God. Oh wait, I forgot to put on that MP regeneration thing for Maria. I can do that. So equipment. Uh I don't know if I really need the warrior's bracelet. I think the scholar's bracelet. Yo! Hello! Give me that shit. 5% int increase. Please, baby. I know you explained at some point, but I seem to have forgotten. What does the bonus battle gauge do? So the bonus battle gauge, the very namesake of our community here, the gauge gang, basically does this. In normal circumstances, right? When you, for example, load your game off of a memory card save or what have you, the bonus battle gauge starts off empty, and depending on the strength of your opponent relative to you, will start at either 100, above 100 if they're stronger than you, or below it if they're weaker than you. As you hit the enemy, while your percentage rate for the bonus battle gauge is above 0%, it will gradually fill up. If you are able to fill your bonus battle gauge to 100%, depending on the move that was used to fill it up, you will get one of four bonuses that will apply from that for every battle from that point on. Um, for the four of the four bonuses that you can get to start it off, you can get either triple experience. Double full, increased recovery after battle, or increased item drop chance after battle. Depending on whether you use a weak attack, a strong attack, and then I forget the other two, it's either sim like a battle skill or symbology, but I forget which one does which for the other two. So a weak attack, if you fill the bonus battle gauge, like the last hit is like a weak attack to fill it, you get triple XP. If it's a strong attack, you get double full. If it's a if it's either a spell or a battle skill. I forget which one it is, but one of those two will get you increased item drop rate, and the other one of those two will get you increased recovery after battle. Your bonus battle gauge will break if the character you're controlling dies, takes a critical hit, or if you run from battle. And if you keep the chain going, then every 10 battles, one of the bonuses you don't already have will be applied to your current set up until you get the maximum until you get all four bonuses at the same time. So the reason why I've been using the um the reason why I've been using um stage states this whole time as opposed to um it's like the reason why I've been using save states this whole time is because like I said if you load a save off of your memory card then what winds up happening is that you um, your bonus your battle gauge resets, and once you hit a certain threshold where you're much stronger than your opponents, it becomes a real hassle to fill it back up. So basically, what I've been doing and what I'm going to intend to do the whole way through is to keep triple XP and all the other bonuses that I have going for as long as I can by abusing save states and never actually loading up. Um, from hard backup saves unless an absolute emergency happens. So yeah, that 257 chain that you see there means literally we've gotten into 257 fights straight without breaking the bonus battle gauge. Make sure fate doesn't die. Uh. 
No, they do grow with the chain. They do. They do grow. Oh, okay. Sorry, I may have misunderstood what you meant. <laughs> no, triple XP will stay as triple XP once you get it. Double full will stay as double full once you get it. Yeah, like those parts don't change, but you will get the ones that you don't have the longer you keep the chain going. So basically, once you get like a chain of forty, then you don't get any new bonuses. So the reason why I'm so intent on keeping it for so long, though, is because basically the only way for me to... It's not the only way for me to stay relevant with leveling, but the best way to reduce the amount of grinding I have to do is just to make sure that I have an unbroken chain for as long as I can keep it. More or less. Another earthquake. Stopped. They must be up to something. Yeah, blueberries here. Aqua berries here, but I don't use aqua berries, so that's not of any importance. Seems nothing happens anymore. Blackberries. Cooking ingredients, which I already have a bunch of, so I can't really do anything about that. We have another broken wall over here, so we're gonna disintegrate it and walk through. Yes, Sophia, it did. They deliberately want you to trigger they deliberately want you to trigger an earthquake to examine one of the chests and trigger the earthquake so that you can kind of um so that you can get through this next part. You do not want to touch these floating chunks of rubble here, by the way. If you touch them, you will get knocked the fuck out and have to go and and have to start back at the start of the room. You may be wondering, SJ, why would they do such a thing? And the answer is, Triace doesn't care about you. Triace does not love you. Triace does not care about you. Triace is simply here to bully. The earthquake was an attack and the chest was a minion. Not an accurate. More before finding a pain. Uh, is that an accessory? I wonder. Usable items. Other items. Why didn't enemy detection range on minimap? Uh, don't want it. Don't need it. Gonna sell it. How do I get this treasure chest? Give, give me it. Give me it. Give me. Give, give me. Give me. Give me. I want it. Let me have... Mm. Hold on a second. Let me check real quick. If this is an item I can even get right now. It's gonna be real shitty. I can't. Yeah, I can't get it yet. God damn it. Yeah, I can't get it yet. The item that I actually need to be able to open this up. If there's only a jump, if there's only a jump. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get hit by the ceiling. Alright. So we're gonna go through here. All right, I forgot I'm out of MP, so I gotta fix that. Uh, eat some blackberries. Man did how much damage? 
after I put a power up on him? Excuse me? Yo, what the fuck? Yeah, no, no kidding. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. All right, let's see. Um, yep, I got enough for another MP boost. Yeah, now we can basically just, like, throw points at the cliff's MP to try to make sure that he dies a little bit less often. A little bit being the operative word. Like, cliff's MP is never going to be great, no matter how much we pump into it. But... Like, it's never going to be great. He's never going to have a lot of MP. But... Better than the alternative. Oh, I'm blocked. Ah, I got blocked by the corner. Maria is so cool. So yeah, basically, and that's why also of all the characters that you can technically get quote unquote endings with in this game, Maria is the one that we want for this playthrough. He's clapped. I guess I don't really need that. I want the regeneration symbol. Yeah, so basically with the regeneration symbol, as Maria, I can kind of just chill on the sides and like... and let stuff happen, basically. No good. It's locked and won't budge. Block that for me. So that means there has to be another- Ah, oh, here it is. And that's why I wanted to trigger the Earthquake, so we can, like, bust through these walls. So yeah, now as Maria, I can really just kind of chill in the back and just cast gun repeatedly. This fucking game. I I opened the treasure chest and I got shot and it just fell over. That that's cool. Love that. Like, there's, there's your actual Mimic, Sophia. Where's the Mimic? There's the Mimic. That's right, Adre. Just be the heel bot in the back. That's all. That's all you're good for. All right. that this place is fucking huge because this place is fucking huge Hey! 
If you wake me up, I'm gonna end you. Mimic does this does the Sinchiaka hem. It's like Go. Oh yeah. They might have, I really should have just left it to fate in the first place. Because literally, people that have been here for a while that have been watching Star Ocean, has fate not actually helped healed everybody in the party more in the times that I've been letting the, the AI control him than Nell has in the entirety of the... Hmm. I'm bitter. I'm bitter. I'm bitter. I'm bitter. I'm bitter. Okay, so technically speaking, I don't have to fight these crystal statues anymore, but it's fun. Our protagonist is the healer. He should be proud. Not even by default, either, unfortunately. What a waste of time. Let's go. Uh, I got Pulse Blast, so I don't think so. Critical hit MP is not doing a whole bunch, so I'm gonna switch over to double magnetic field. Woo! Hey culinary, welcome on in. Hey everybody from culinary stream. Uh my name is Sean, I'm gonna be the that, Rest J. I make games, I play games, games make do basically. Uh and we are playing some Star Ocean till the end of time. Uh, on hard mode or universe difficulty, uh, I am not in my favorite dungeon in this game. This is my least favorite dungeon in this game. One of my least favorite dungeons in this game. But we're doing all right. Oh, Chrono Pro. Mm. Radical Dreamers Edition, or um, did we sail the? Or did we sail the? Or did we did we hoist our black flag for that one? Radical Demon's Edition runs totally fine for me. Mm. Yeah, because I... Oh, yeah, you're right. Because I did remember hearing some things about people having issues with getting it to run correctly. Got the last alternate ending tonight. Oh, nice. Oh, and you've been... Oh, then you've been working your way through that, then. Because I know that Chrono Cross has less of them. Than, um, than Chrono Trigger does, or at least about as many, which is a lot. Yeah, like 11? Yeah. Sounds about right. Did all of them except one, which I screwed up. Ooh, F. F. And it, it is, I guess, relatively easy as long as you make because... Yeah, it is relatively easy because 
as long because of the way that New Game Plus works in that game, as long as you have all your ducks in a row, you should be you should be able to like basically clear the final boss fight in like sub three minutes if you do if you set everything up correctly. So that makes sense. Oh, there's a reason why he's called the, t the time door. Okay, fair. I forgot to account for, like, R and... Like, I forgot to account for R and Jesus being, like, not great. That's fair. That is a fair point. Yeah, so much HP, lol. Ah. Hmm. Sorry. Just when he said that, I... My brain did a thing, and then I had to think about it for a second, and then I was like... I, for half a second, I thought I was, like, misremembering something. But, um... Also true. It's also hilarious that the character who is ostensibly like probably really best at long range, you just go, or I could just walk up and literally just keep pressing magnetic field until you die. And I I laugh I'm laughing at how disturbingly effective that is. Yeah, Cliff is never gonna have great MP, but if it keeps him from at least getting horrifically MP killed, even relatively faster, then I'm okay with that. I'm so glad that I got that I was able to beat that 11% chance and get this gun for Maria, because when I tell y'all that if I didn't, this might be so much harder than it is. Hey, so, it's time for a bonus, it's time to play a bonus game. By the way, we're still not in the last area of this map yet, I don't think. Yeah, we're still not in the last area of this map yet. We are still here. The next area that we go into will be the last one. This place has four fucking zones. Four. All right. It says, hold thy head high and prove thyself. So, basically speaking, for this segment, you have to split your characters into... You have to send one character to each room, basically. And, um... More or less go from there. Let's do... Let's see. I don't know the context, but it sounds like a lot. So, Sophia, um, this entirety of all we've been walking through so far has been the third area of this entire dungeon. And there are four areas in total. And they're all roughly the same size. If that helps put it into any context.
Alright, y'all. Let's see how badly I get fucked up. Technically speaking, this part is optional, but I like getting XP for characters, because... That matters. Alright. So we're gonna use our battle save states here. I don't need to heal, I just want to. Too slow. What the fuck? That man, that man's hitbox extended behind him, and I don't like that. That was some bullshit. Sidekick! Sidekick! Is that all you got? Yeah. That's one down. Alright, here's two. Oh nice, I also wore my OK Preview sh shirt on sheet today, right? It's such a good shirt, isn't it? I was like, I really want the XP. All these enemies are basically worth shit for XP. Big sad. Easy clap. <laughs> Heard a more worthy Oh yeah. And now it's Nell time. Okay, cool. So... Thank you. 
Sorry, y'all. I kind of messed up my skill setup here for now because um, I didn't know that Whirlwind doesn't work on this enemy. So all I can do is Shadow Wave. Did she ever learn Fury? He did learn Berserk. Cool. I'm gonna save that just in case because this will make this a little bit easier to pull off, but... Yeah, I'm gonna put Shadow Wave back in both slots for now, because blech, that could have gone much faster. And for doing all that, you get an anti-stone amulet. Which is useful in its own way. So, no. We're just gonna do Shadow Wave. Shadow Wave and Shadow Wave and Shadow Wave. All the time. Every time. And now that you've done that, you can, in fact, walk through these booms like it's nothing. And in fact, you do have to walk through each one in order to get map completion. Have I told y'all how much I hate the Shrine of Kadan? Because I hate the Shrine of Kadan. Yeah, you have to actually walk through each one of those in order to get, in order to fill out the map data for those parts and get map completion. And technically speaking, you can skip the challenge if you don't want to do it by just walking through that little gap there like I did. But like I said, I, I wanted the shiny and I wanted the XP, so you know. Alright. This is the last area. <laughs> Of the Shrine of Kadan. So. Unfortunately. So basically this is the way that it works. Um, I'm going to see if this guide is bullshitting me. And basically speaking what we're going to have to do. This is the most stressful part of the Shrine of Kadan coming up, basically. Y'all will see it when we get to it, but I'm gonna see if we can cheese it a little bit and at least make it easier to go pick up some goodies before we have to do the really fucking tedious part. Magnetic field is way too good. <laughs> this character is so good. All right. I'm about to get into a fight, and there's nothing I can do about it, except for make sure that everybody's healed. I drained Adre dry. He's no longer of any use to me. Okay, take it, take your time. Take your time, take your time. God. Alright. Sorry about that, y'all. That happens sometimes. Um. You know, it's really weird. Maria, you are. You are. You are. Bless you. It'll set up. We have enough. 
for... We don't. We almost have enough for another HP boost, but not quite yet. Not for Fate either. Not for Nell either. This place is just fucking huge. And basically every single part of the Shrine of Kadan is about this big. Um, and the best part, you want to know the really, 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 really fun part? I, if I remember correctly, you do not get an opportunity to send in a fool to touch the red gem. The ever-searching one shall be victorious. Cool. So here's the thing. Right? I want you to look at these blocks and remember these blocks. I want you to look at them and remember them. We'll be seeing them again. And it will not be pleasant. I'm deliberately doing a thing, I'm deliberately skipping a thing that I'm supposed to have done to try to see if I can, like, clean out some of the treasure that I know is in these rooms before we have to come back here and do the 54,000 full. I like making money. Before we have to come back and do the very unpleasant thing. Because we will have to come back and do the very unpleasant thing. And no one here is going to like it. Everyone here will probably, in fact, hate it. But we have no choice. And I know I'm being delightfully, wonderfully obtuse about this, but it's on purpose. Because I could describe it, and I could explain it, oh yes. But y'all... That's one solid door. It's locked tight and won't budge. Y'all will not understand just how painful this is. Until... Until... These blocks finally become... Not fun. So... In order for that door to open... Must come all the way back through here. And, despite the warnings of that lovely statue, or that lovely plaque, we must make our way forward and over to the far eastern side of this floor. after we bully some more Vendini, as we do. As we do, right, we walk up and we literally just bully these Vendini until they start screaming. Like, we kind of just walk up and we just go, stop hitting yourself. Well, not stop hitting yourself. We just kind of walk up and we keep pumping them Full of magnets until they start screaming about how it's not a motherfucking miracle. You know, as one does. And we have to venture basically all the way over here. Touch the gem. What caused that tremor? The gem started spinning. And you can't... Oh, you can. You can. You can untouch it. However, the gem must be spinning for this next part. You don't have a choice. It has to be spinning. I 
And now that we've done that, we are now on our way to the final and most aggravating and absolutely the shittiest part of the Shrine of Kadam. literal entire worst part of the shrine of the day. The part that with much wailing and gnashing of teeth drives people to the very brink of their patience. Welcome dear viewers to the moving block puzzle room of the Shrine of Kadam. If you touch any of those fucking red blocks, you have to go back to the start of the room. go not collect two hundred dollars you just go right back to the start of the room and in case you are wondering but SJ you may be going there's no way that they can but SJ this is terrible you say oh but it gets worse it is it gets so much worse Aside from the fact that, for example, you can dead-end yourself. And imagine now, if I hadn't come through here earlier and mapped it out so that I know where the exit is, imagine how much worse this would be. Oh, imagine how much worse this would be. And this is not even the worst part of this... of this cacophony of mechanical horrors. Oh no. Were were that it were only were that it were done so easily. Were that it, I might actually have just dead ended myself again. Don't fucking come up here. Okay, don't. Fuck Literally all you had to do was go straight and not fall and not crawl along the wall. You absolute piece of shit. Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay. But, like I said, we are not done yet. Oh no. Come on, you noisome motherfucker. Yeah. Alright, come on, come on. No! What the fuck? Move! Go! No! Why the fuck did you come over here? Are you kidding? Don't, don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Fuck! Ah! Ayami. Ah! <laughs> ah! I went over to you because... Thank you, Yami. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. God... Damn it. Fuck. Shit. Dick. I want off of this wild rumpus ride. I want off. Okay. Don't turn over here. D fuck. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yes. 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 Try being less appealing and maybe the enemies will ignore you. Still have a boss fight after all of this. 
put up a boss fight after all this, y'all. We're still not done. We we have, we, have, we have a boss fight after all this. I I am not wrong. That's that's how it works. Science says so. I'm not going. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to argue with you, bud. I'm not. Also, just because I am under severe emotional distress right now. This is the entrance to the inner sanctum where the sacred orb is said to be enshrined. So that means the Vendini are there too. Most likely. Everyone ready? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. They make sure that you are absolutely fucking ready to step in there before you do it. I did. I save stated twice. I did not make a hard save, but I did make a save state. Huh? Isn't that the line god boy? Correct. I think it is. How lucky for us. And we thought we were taking a detour to check out this OPA. We got us two birds with one stone. Get your hands off our most sacred treasure. That is not an option. Did you really think we'd abandon an OPA of this power so easily? The OPA and the boy are ours. Not gonna happen. You got a little too greedy. Let's get him. Yep. So you want to know how we're going to handle this? We're going to walk right in the middle of all of them. Dodge those shots. I forgot to make a save state. And if I had wound up getting my gauge broken, I would have been pissed off. So let me make a battle save state right here. And let's finish fucking these nerds up. That's she just spanking these enemies. Yeah, pretty much. And imagine, I would have gotten 800 XP out of that if I didn't have triple XP up. Not even worth my time. This energy does possess a waveform that's never been observed before. As we thought, its power clearly exceeds anything that should be on this planet. What's the orb got to do with the... Ah. Oh. Oh, so an OPA um, is an out-of-place artifact. So basically the implication being that it shouldn't be here because there's no reason why, there's no way that um, the civilization of Elicor 2 could have made that thing. So it really is an OPA. That's the only possible conclusion. No wonder it's a holy relic. I'm just relieved that it's safe. This will save Her Majesty considerable grief. Yeah, OPA is not a misspell. Let's get back to Aquios and let the Queen know that the Sacred Orb is safe. Yeah. Right, let's go. When they say let's get back to Aquios and make sure that the Queen knows the Sacred Orb is safe, do you want to know how we're getting back to Aquios, everybody? Do you want to? Do you know how we're getting back to Aquios? Do you know how? You know the method by which we are getting back to Aquios? I would like you all to take a guess. Take your best guess, in fact. I'll wait. Yes! We are, in fact, walking back through all four fucking areas of the Shrine of Kadan and the sealed... and the sealed cavern in order to get back to Aquios. We are walking through all... every single bit of this dungeon, as well as the mini dungeon before it, to get back there. If you try jumping out the window to shortcut to the first floor, I would love to. But alas and alack, Triace has accounted for that.
by virtue of being a miserable pile of dicks. So here we go. Okay, to my credit, I could have actually walked out lower left and gotten out of that, but um, I panicked. Okay, I think I can make it to the door before that other cube comes up here. Okay. Yes, we now have to walk back through all fucking four areas of the Shrine of Kadan to get, and the Sealed Cavern, in order to get back to Aquios. Don't turn. Thank you. Can I make it? Shit. Don't come up here. Don't come up. Don't come up. Don't come up. Don't come up. Don't. Fuck. 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 Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Don't. 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 Fuck. Oh, shit. Ah. Shit. Don't turn. Don't come down this way. Fuck. All right. Ah. 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 Don't come up that way. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> This, I want off this rumpus ride. I, 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 I've been in here so long that I've had at least four other items or four other batches of item make. Why did you just fucking stop? Just let me out of here. Oh, I just want to... And this is why I'm like, we gotta finish this tonight. Because there's no way I'm gonna start off stream next week, Sunday, doing this? Fuck no. No. So we're getting the fuck up out of here, and we're getting all the way back out to Aquios, and we're ending stream there. Even if that means I gotta go over by an hour, because the alternative is not fucking acceptable. Okay. Okay, I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Yes! Okay, that is the hardest part of the Shrine of Kadan fucking dealt with. Now we literally just have to fucking juke. Wait. Are all the enemies gone? Did I forget that part? Did they literally just clear it out once we did this part by just saying no more enemies? I might have forgotten that. We gotta see. We have to see. If they cleared it out with no enemies, at least back to the sealed cavern, then I'm then I'm okay if they did that. If they didn't do that, I'm just gonna scream. Oh yeah, I think I think the trauma just straight up erased it from my memory. But it looks like it looks like they cleared out all the enemy encounters once we got rid of the Vendini. Which you know what? Honestly, I can live with that, to be completely honest with you. That's actually pretty cash money. Look more little enemies to super mega boss the Yummy. Yummy. We broke and bred together. Watch Castlevania together. We're cool. But do but do not get it twisted. If you jinx me, I will eat you into low earth orbit and I will not be made I will not be made to feel sorry about it. Just just so that you're aware.
for all that we are really in that we are truly comrades in arms, I will get a motherfucker if I have to. Do not Do not jinx it. To be fair, despite the bread broken, you have launched my character into orbit. I mean Yeah, but that's 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 Smash Brothers. That that's to be expected. Do I actually want full map completion of the Shrine of Kadan? Do I actually? Not really. But I'm gonna try- I'll, I might as well go fuck around and get as much as I can anyway. Or I can't get everything. But yes. This is how fucking big this place- And again, this part that I just stepped back into, this is the third of four areas in this fucking place. The third of four. Four! Can you imagine what this would be like if I didn't have a guide? Right? If I didn't have a guide and I was just having to like... Wander around and do this shit manually? If I didn't remember anything about how this- about how any of this fuckery worked? Can you imagine? Four areas. Four. 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 No guiding the Shadow of Catan sounds like hell. Yeah! At least there are no enemies this time, which makes my life at least on the way back. But we still have to go through the... Well, the Sealed Cavern isn't nearly as long by comparison, but still. There are four. We just... We just stepped from the third one into the second. Well, lie. This is the this is the first one actually. We're almost out. We are almost out. Like the exit is in the lower left-hand corner over here. We're almost out actually. So there's supposed to be four. If I'm reading this guide, if I'm reading the ma the guide maps correctly. Yeah, the south area, there's the battle with that thing, then the middle area. Yeah, there's four. And we're just now back at the first one. And y'all can see about how big the map is for yourselves. And we're still not out of the shrine, and we're still not back in Akrios, even after all that. Right? Everyone. Please allow me to thank you. Huh? Thanks to you, the sacred orb is safe. There's no need to thank us. It's really our fault to begin with. They never would have known about the sacred orb if we hadn't come here. You're wrong. They came here of their own accord. No fault lies with you. Nell. I gathered from what you were saying before, that there are many worlds like our own. That's right. And the sacred orb is an exceedingly rare object, an OPA you said, correct? Correct. At least there's no record of anything like the sacred orb in the Federation's database. That means most likely, someone would have come here seeking its power sooner or later. It just so happens, that time is now. You have nothing to apologize for. Now. All right, time to go. Oh, yeah. Let's get back to Aquios. Right. We are almost there. Field Cavern is thankfully not as big as the Shrine of Kadan. Not by a long shot. But. We have to worry about not getting hit by, like, okay, see those blocks that were right above my head, right as we got into this fight? If I stand still too long and I get hit by one of those, I am going to get knocked out and I have to try to go, and I basically start back at the start of the room again. killed this nerd. Uh, 
There we go. Should be able to get through here if I don't get stalled out. Perfect. Okay. Don't get hit by these blocks. Make a hard save here. Still not out yet. We're getting there. Maybe next stream we'll, we'll go straight back to the aquatic garden at the start and go and finally go and go fuck up those nerds now that we have um, significantly more power to our names. We might be able to pull it off, but not sure. No, for all that magnetic field is not supposed to have like a really high chance of doing um, the shocky shock thing, it seems to be doing the shocky shock thing a lot. Anointed chainmail. Blackberries. Wait, did I just find a shortcut? No. Pice, why the fuck are you like this? You literally just like, hey, here's here's a dead end to explore. It looks like, like, hey, here's a dead end to explore. Oh, cool. Can I break something down in order to like maybe get another shortcut back through here? No, just a dead end for treasure. It's like, but what was the what was the reason? I thought it was funny. I have to be careful. I gotta time it carefully so I don't get hit by these. Wait for this one to stomp down, and then step, and then go through here. Can't see yourself, by the way, even with the map, even with the map down. Trying to actually see yourself in that in that corridor doesn't work as well as you'd think. Starshin. Reason is false hope. Yeah. No, this game just fucking bullies you. All the time. Without even a shred of remorse. This game will just bully the fuck out of you. And it's not sorry. Not even a little bit. Nope. Now, don't get me wrong. I still love this game. And I enjoy it a lot. But also... Y'all really ain't have to do any of us like this. You, you really did not have to do us like this. Did not have to, there was no need, there was no requirement. However, that said... As you can tell by the music changing... We have finally made it. Aquios. So, yeah, we're out. So I just did a double save state there just to be sure that it that it got got in. So, with that, we're done for the night. Thank y'all so much for coming by the stream, Culinary Josh. Thank you so much for raiding in. I deeply appreciate it. We will be back this Friday. 6 p.m. Eastern Time with Fighting Friday, as per usual. I'll be putting this schedule up in the Discord. So for anybody who want who may forget it from stream, I'll be putting the schedule up in the Discord. But basically, we're going to be starting with DNF Duel because it will be releasing this Tuesday. So we're going to be playing it on Fighting Friday for the first Friday in July. Then we're going to do Skullgirls, Neck, the Skullgirls, Guilty Gear Strive, DNF Duel again, and then Guilty Gear Strive to finish out the month. So this is our, this is going to be our schedule for July in Fighting Fridays. Sundays are going to continue to be reserved for, um, Sundays are going to continue to be reserved for, um, 
Star Ocean, of course. That's not changing. And ideally, depending on how we do, um, I anticipate that we'll probably be through it by either July or August. For the summer, depending on how my work schedule turns out and depending on how my energy levels turn out, I may be able to sneak in at least only for the summer. So that's probably from like July up until... Um, from July, maybe up until August, depending on how some things work out. Sneak in a couple extra streams. So that we can try to maybe have Star Ocean done by the time August rolls around. Um And then come off and then come October, as is the kind of tradition for my um birthday month in October, we will be doing charity fundraising. Probably gonna be something around um reproductive probably something around um Reproductive rights and control because again, I said this during last stream, but I kind of want to reiterate it every person um, Deserves the right to have a say about Their body and how it is that they want to handle the reproduction thereof with their body and It is the state's job to enforce people's right to choose that For whatever reason and for whatever circumstance Plainly. So in October, we're going to be doing something to support that. I just got to figure it out. And figure out who we're going to be raising. At the way, good night, SJ. You're awesome. Thank you, Ami. Thanks for the stream. I and appreciate you. I appreciate that you and feel, um, enjoy your time here. As long as you and appreciate your time here, then that's pretty much, um, all I really, all I really hope for. So we're going to go find somebody to hang out with, but... As always, I gotta do a couple of quick ads. So, not literal Twitch ads, but like just talking about stuff. You can follow me on Twitter for various things that I say and do and talk about. Sometimes art, sometimes short form game design thoughts. Usually go lives and stuff for like stream stuff. Um, yelling about social justice. Um, retweeting cool things that I see. I do that on Twitter. Medium articles, I'm putting the finishing touches on a on a piece for approachability and accessibility to go put up there. But on Medium, I have long form game design articles about things like four things I wish I'd known about fighting games before I'd gotten started. The retrospectives on Gen 1 and Gen 6 of Pokemon. Um, a retrospective on Breath of Fire 3 and how it sort of challenged a lot of the norms that I had around playing RPGs when I was a kid. And then last but not least, if you want to be able to do things like, for example, whenever we do our votes for Fighting Fridays, if you want to be able to do that or just kind of hang out with the Gage Gang when we're not online for stream, you can join the Discord. Um, when you join the Discord, just please make sure that you DM like me or another mod. Let us know your Twitch name how you and your Twitter name if you have it. Let us know how you found out about the stream, whole nine yards, and we'll get you rolled up and good to go. All that said, yeah, let's go. Figure who, let's go figure out who we're gonna go hang out with. I have an idea of who we may want to go see that we haven't gotten to go see in a hot minute. Um, but I need to just double check to see um, if there's anybody else. I found the stream while breaking bread with you. I mean, it's also factually true, but I need to just double check to see. Let's see. Um, yeah. I know who we're going to go hang out with. I like to always kind of like raid, raid down, so to speak. So like if somebody has just got it started and they're having like less people around. We're going to go hang out with one wing, Chris. Um, he is um, a roommate of a friend of mine uh, and is currently playing through some Mass Effect 3. Also, they're just like rip-roaringly hilarious and really good at voice acting and just generally an all-around talent. And just really chill. So we're gonna go hang out with them. Uh, when we when we go over there, make sure you hit them with an SJH those raids. Let them know who sent you. Um, use your favorite emotes, all that other stuff, the whole nine yards. Like I said, Fighting Friday DNF duel, 6 p.m. Eastern time this upcoming Friday. Fighting games aren't your thing. Sunday. 5 p.m. Eastern Time, more Star Ocean. Till I see you, stay safe. Wash your hands, wear a mask, 
Don't go out if you don't have to. And be excellent to each other. But not to rich people. Not to bigots. And not to people who think that people shouldn't have rights to their own bodies and decide how they do or don't want to reproduce. Fuck all of those people. Because they stink. Alright, y'all. Till then. Bye.